Working with pages. Our objectives for this lesson are to learn all about the pages panel. We'll learn how to add pages, navigate two pages, and move from one page to another. We'll learn how to duplicate spreads and pages, and delete spreads and pages. We can change the page order and modify page sizes. We'll also learn how to create custom page sizes if the page size that you need is not a preset that's available. We'll cover rotating pages and spreads when you need to rotate the view or the angle of the page that you're editing. We'll learn how to adjust layouts and move pages within an artboard. We'll also create and separate spreads. We'll import text and learn about the different options available when importing and formatting text. We will flow place text and we will learn how to use placeholder text for when we're designing a layout. We don't yet have the text that will be part of that layout. The Pages Panel. The Pages Panel can be used to adjust many things, including the adding, deleting, and modifying of pages. You can change page sizes. Now, I would caution you that there's two ways to change the size of a page. You can change the size of all the pages within the, within the document, or you can change the size of just one page. If you're changing the size of just one page, that's when you would use the Pages Panel. You can use the Pages Panel to change the order of the pages that you're working with to use master pages, whether you're going to apply, edit, or distribute master pages. You also have the ability to save and load master pages if you need to share them between designs. You can rotate the view of the page or the spread that you're working on. You can add page transitions. These only work when you're going to output for a digital destination, but there's still something fun that you can do in InDesign. You can also color and label your pages for editing purposes. You can turn page shuffling on and off, and we'll explain what that is. And you can set your panel options if you don't like the default way that your pages panel is viewed. The pages panel is broken up into two halves. The top half of your pages panel represents your master pages, and the bottom half represents what I like to call the real pages or the actual pages of your project. Up until this point in the semester, we've only been working with the bottom half of the pages panel. Anything above the light gray line is the master page section and anything below it are your actual or your real pages. If you want to, you can click and drag the light gray horizontal bar to show more or less of the master page section in your design. And you can grab the bottom or the bottom right hand corner of any panel in InDesign and drag it to make it wider or taller so that you can see all the pages within your design. In this example, I'm working with an eight-page document, and so for me, it feels more comfortable to make the pages panel bigger so that I can see all eight pages. That's not always possible. If you're working with a document that has 30, 40, 50, or 400 pages in it, you will not be able to make the pages panel large enough to see all 400 pages at one time.